Fuck yeah, everybody. How you guys doing? Welcome. How you doing? Great. Good to be here. Good to see you guys. Packed, uh, packed something. Packed back of the room. It's good to be here. Fun weekend. Yeah, we're going to have a fun week. We're about to go to Texas. Oh, yeah, we're going we have to a Texas. bunch of shows in Texas this week. We uh, are in Houston and uh, Dallas and Austin. Fuck yeah. Isn't that exciting, guys? Yeah. On the road, getting paid. How fun. Yeah, it's weird because uh, uh, me and Tony, you know, we, we're just starting this getting on the road thing more and more, you know, lately. And uh, we're, we're new, so we don't know, like, all the, like, the little secrets. And so we almost have, yeah. like, Joey Diaz being our, our godfather, like, oh, you need to do this and that. And it's really weird learning that part of the business once you, you start, like, trying to figure out, all right, now I want to go to Texas. How do I go to Texas? Right. And luckily we've had uh, our friends over at Bogart LA help us out. But uh, it's interesting. It's it's a lot of work. Yeah, it's crazy, and uh, I wish we were able to take Kill Tony there. Yeah, that's 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 the only part that disappoints me is that, it, that we won't have an official Kill Tony in Texas yet. Well, we need to figure out a way to bring Iron Patriot. Iron Patriots yeah. here, everybody. Our head of security. <laughs> wow. That's a new one. That's a remix, huh? I will lead these new Avengers into battle against anyone with threatened white life. You I am the Iron Patriot. You always say that one, but before you used to have other catchphrases. Well, give us For every one. life you save, there's a million new no ways, ways to, to die. die. Yeah, I remember that one, too. How about, how about another one? Just between me and you, here's my little secret. The bad guy always wins. Me killing you is just perfect symbolism for the times. That one's a little bit too long. How about another one? <laughs> That's enough. You only get one day. Tomorrow belongs to me. Do you have any uh, holiday-related ones you did when you, you know, for the holidays? What can I say? I had to save the best for last. Tonight I will kill the amazing Spider-Man. Whoa. Whoa. See, that leads me to my next topic. I worked <laughs> with my friend, I worked with my friend uh, Juan, Juan Diego, the Spanish Spider-Man. I was out taking a lot of pictures during the holidays, Tony. I was out there working. And I want to give a shout out to a Kill Tony fan named Andrew Johans that came down from Chicago to find me. Okay. And, you know, he was here for the Rose Bowl, but he, he made a special trip down the boulevard, too. He got a picture with me. Uh, he tipped me. I insisted that he didn't, but he, he didn't care. He wanted to give some love. And I also had another picture that's going to make you jealous, Tony. Oh, no. oh my God. About this Tony thing, by the way. You, it started off really funny because you accidentally did it. But now that you do it every week, it really just like nails yeah, on the chalkboard. Yeah, you really set it up. We can tell before you're about to do it now. It's creepy. What do you have a picture of that okay. could possibly make me jealous? Saturday night, Saturday night. I'm on my way home about 6.30. I run into R.J. Mitty, Walter Jr. on Breaking Bad. I saw that. I actually saw that picture. Yes. He, he tweeted out under the hashtag Kill Tony. That's very it exciting. It was very exciting. Now, it didn't – it looked kind of like better than it really was because – I saw RJ. I said, we got to get a picture together. He said, I don't have a camera. But I kept talking to him about Kill Tony like a good death squad soldier. Mm -hmm. And some woman that was with him, he was with like three ladies. Some woman was with him. She got out her phone, took the picture, and put it on his Twitter thing. And I said, put the hashtag Kill Tony. So it was, it was a beautiful moment for the show. Wow. Yeah, it was. It was very responsive. A lot of people got excited. So that's fun. Yeah, yeah. That was a good find. So you basically, in your suit, you stopped R.J. Mitty. Yes, I did. And what did you say exactly? He's walking by said, you with I three said, girls. I said, we got to get a picture again. I said, I'm on this podcast, Kill Tony. Tony Hinchcliffe, this famous comedian, he loves you to death. He talks Jesus. about you all the time. What a I said, liar we got to get a picture. I said, this, I wasn't going to let him get away. I was not going to let him get away. Until we got a picture, until we got it on Twitter, and did what, what, what needed to be done. So let, when you say that you were not going to let him get away, what were you about to do had he just kept walking? Well, By the way, for those of you that don't know, R.J. Mitty has cerebral palsy. Well, he has a mild form. And as he's walking by, this fucking robot insists on taking a picture with him. So you really got a picture what's going well, on here. He, he, has a, he doesn't have as severe a form as when he plays on the show. He has right. a mild form of it. No, yeah, I know. And, you know, he had a, a tough childbirth with, with no heartbeat and a uh, tough cesarean birth. But um, he, came to, he came to L.A. in 2006. It was really his sister that was getting into acting. And they didn't know. He... He was an extra on Hannah Montana, just like me. And then he started getting into more stuff. He got a talent coach to, to start coaching him. And then that's when he got in Breaking Bad. So um, he wasn't even expecting to go down that road. 
Heck yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. Stopping him on the street was a real palsy move, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Really went for it. And we appreciate that. But he seemed, he seemed normal, Tony. He, he, he didn't seem... He talked. He seemed like a cool guy. He, he walked fine. You know? Um, <laughs> there you go. He, he talked okay. You know, I, I don't know if that was his mom. I don't know who that was. I mean, he, he has his mom goes with him a lot on a lot of things. Even How do you know that? Vegas. On Vegas, he had his birthday party. He even had his mom there for that. So. Well, I bet it's his birthday party in Vegas. Yeah. That's yeah. different. So why would his... All right, fuck it. Yeah. The Iron Patriot, everybody. He's here. He's always here. <laughs> why? What are these new noises? I'm trying to work on my sound and, and my effects. <laughs> How do you like this one? <laughs> you know it's not bad. Is, no, what is that? <laughs> Yeah, they got it. They got it. Good. The what? Close encounter. Close encounter is yeah. the third kind. Have you ever had a close encounter with the third kind, Tony? Oh, stop with the Tony yeah, shit, just, man. So you got to settle down with the Tony thing. You but, really need to WD-40 that suit, Patriot. It's making a lot of noise yeah, tonight. Yep. 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 I'm now, an enigma. I work in mysterious ways. Heck yeah, you do. There was a song that we were going to have today. I yep. don't know if you... Uh, talk to the Iron Patriot. All right. I didn't get a chance to. I didn't get a chance to tell you that we don't have time to do your song. But That's okay. Why don't, uh, you want to just do 60 seconds of it? Would that be a, deal, a yeah, good deal? Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, do it. Do it because you guys awesome. are going to Dallas. It's good timing. Okie dokie. Well, right. if you don't know, Patriot was in a uh, band in the 90s, a rock and roll band that, uh, how long were you guys together? Um, well, this is the second band I was in called Shame before Dirty Crab. Shame? Yeah, it's called Shame. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm moving fast. I'm just, I did one song from my first band. Now I'm in my second band. I'm going to do one song and then keep moving. But, um, yeah, this was called Come Alive. If you go to my Twitter page, go to the YouTube link, you'll see all these videos for these bands, and you'll see the pictures of what we looked like back then, the terrible haircuts we had, and all the shit. Great. <laughs> and you're trying to bring back these bands from the 90s uh, yeah. that didn't work in the 90s. You yeah. think that the music could work now. Uh, it could be in a movie soundtrack, whatever, a commercial. You, know, you don't know. And you wrote this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I did. We, Fitment we, hygiene commercial. Yep. A couple of weeks ago, you sent in a song that you were singing that wasn't even you you singing. You were singing well, well, over well, somebody else. Let me explain. Else. I was singing in the chorus with him, and when I brought that song... It doesn't really matter. Let's do the new song. Let's hear okay, what you got. here we go. They're always unbearable. They're really wrote, terrible. All I was trying to say is I wrote that song. I'm okay. the one who wrote one cool. and one. has got to be. Nobody gets this. Come so on, Don't waste my time. Got things to do. Want to do them all with you. So come alive. Between you and I, I see the summer days. They come once a year. Oh, yeah. Lots of little things Oh, baby, now to see it here yeah. Got just in the second gear All the girls, they always look at me They read the label, satisfaction guarantee So come on my hive Don't waste my time All right. to Okie dokie That's pretty good Pretty good That's probably one of the better ones that I've heard Yeah Thank you, Tony. And you, but you made the microphone uh, limp during it. Heck yeah. I'm sure there's a large, large group of music fans out there that have always wanted all of the vibe of Hootie and the Blowfish with the energy of a robot. So I'm sure something will something will get big yeah, for yeah, you guys yeah. soon. Yeah, I'm bringing them back. I don't want those songs that just lay wasted. They, they need to be heard by people. Right. Now, if the band got successful, do you think you'd still wear the suit, or would you go back to being Jeff Crabtree? Uh, I'd probably try to do what they let me get away with. I mean, if they let me sing it without the suit, too, I'll do that, too. But, you know, that right now they like me in the suit, so i got to keep doing it. <laughs> what if we just got rid of, like, the bottom half of your suit, and you wore, like, I don't know, jean shorts, like, really short <laughs> jean shorts? <laughs> you know? Like, where you can see the pockets come down the leg. <laughs> I think that'd be great. We should test that out one week. Yeah. 
Can we test that out? It'll be easier on you also because you can like drive here. Uh, it'll I, be got, like... I want it to look cool. It's got to be the full thing. I mean, the sculptor that made it, it's, it's such a work of art. It's from, from head to toe. It's, it's got to be all together. But can we just have a fun episode? How would we fly that, by the way? I got a, I got one of those golf travel bags I'm going to put it in. I already, I already figured it out. I'm get, get two of those. And, and we would check bag. it. And you would trust that it would come out of the other end. Wow. We yeah, did I tell you I got my passport a couple weeks ago? I got it in the mail. Perfect. I'm ready with the passport. I know there's some fans awesome. in Canada that want us to come. I'm ready to go. It's coming. It's coming really soon. But uh, let's stick with tonight for now, shall we? You guys ready to get this thing bumping? It's episode 32 of Kill Tony. I always have two great friends, two awesome guests uh, come on. This week is an extremely special one uh, because not only are these guys really close buddies of mine, but they're also two of the funniest friends that I have. Put your hands together for them. It's Bobby Lee, everybody, and the Roastmaster Jeff Ross. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. I have a question. Um, what the fuck is this Asian shit? That was just for you. We've never had this set like this. Before. I know you don't, but that's fucking rude, bro. I know, right? No, it's always but like that's that. Chinese. Okay, good. Let's yeah. move on. All right. <laughs> How you doing, Jeff? This is. I'm great, buddy. Congratulations. Sold out crowd for Kill Tony tonight. <laughs> Look at this. How's it going in the balcony? That's you guys. Uh, <laughs> All right, what's up in the mezzanine? Heck yeah, some people took their bites of their food after you asked the mezzanine. They're confident. <laughs> Fuck yeah, well, it's good to have you guys. You ever work with anything like the Iron Patriot before, Jeff? Uh, my washing machine broke down once. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to you, Some of the Jeff. same noises. <laughs> Jeff, I want to talk to you. I'm glad to see you here. Thank you. I'm, I'm sure you get sick of people trying to roast you all the time. Never, IP. Never. Lay it on so, me. So I'm, I'm not going to talk about your double chin. I'm not going to talk about what your hair. Fuck? Your hair that looks fuck? like a bird's nest. I'm wow. not going to talk about your fat, flabby body that reminds me of Ron Jeremy. Oh, my God. Wow. He's How, patriot. Aaron Patriot, I'm here as a guest. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking now, idiot. Now, this is no way to treat me. Now, this, this is what I want to talk about. Why are you swaying like you have to urinate? <laughs> I'm getting into it. This is what I want to talk Stand to you Stand still. Do it with confidence. <laughs> you sound like George Bush right before he said no more tax, no new taxes. I want to talk to you about your love and appreciation for the late, great Buddy Hackett. Thank you. And I noticed on the Christmas episode, you gave Tony a Buddy Hackett hoodie. That was very nice. Hackett jacket. Yeah. And oh, yeah. That's cool. And you're, you're, you were heavily influenced by him because when you were young, you, you, you heard him on The Tonight Show. Now, I was also <laughs> heavily influenced by Buddy Hackett. Oh, yeah. Is that right? as a child, I used to listen to the soundtrack of the wonderful world of the Brothers Grimm. Now, have you seen that movie before? Uh, is this a separate podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is called Talk to the Patriot. <laughs> All right. Okay. So what was your question for Jeff? By the way, have before seen, this episode... Have you seen... He's a big Buddy Hackett fan. Have you seen that movie? He plays Hans in that movie. It I, came out I have not seen it, IP, no. You need to check it out because it influenced my childhood. It's good. Thank you very much. And also, I wanted to say to you, Jeff, you always have an expression on your face like you've seen it all and nothing surprises you. <laughs> oh Is it true? God. Have you seen it all? Does anything surprise you? Nothing. Uh, I've seen it all. No, I've, I, every time I think I've seen it all, I haven't seen it all. Take off your uniform. Show us it all. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yep. Uh, Bobby, I want to talk to you. Why do you have the microphone down by your dick anyway? Uh, it's on? coming out through my chest. The sound's coming out through my chest. Uh, Bobby, I want to talk to you. Yeah, please, go. Uh, Bobby, uh, yes. we're on Kill Tony number nine. What are you dressed as, a moped? <laughs> <laughs> You're on Kill Tony no number nine, Bobby. And we also got a great picture with me, you, and Doug Benson. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, I now, remember. Doug, now, what I want to say is Doug's got this new show, yeah. Getting Doug with High, where he smokes pot with celebrities. Now, Jeff was recently on this show. I mean, Jeff, yeah, Jeff Ross was recently on the show. It was a real good episode. Could you put aside your 10 years of sobriety and go on that show? Because I think it'd be really funny. No. Because the thing, I don't think Doug likes me that much. Really? No. I think you'd be perfect on that. Yeah, but he doesn't like me. I just fucking said that. <laughs> you're, you're kidding. It has to do with the pot. He doesn't like me. Really? Yeah, so probably no. 
Yeah, Tony and Red Band got me into smoking weed again back in June. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't, and no. So that's that. Let's but move what on. What I'm saying is it didn't go into other things. I don't drink or anything. Is this you can make I'm a drug that. addict, Iron Patriot. 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 I'm a recovering drug addict, man. I have a disease. From now on, your questions for the guests have to come through me. And if you're, <laughs> and if you're ever wondering episodes and weeks down the road why you have to do that, always go back to episode no, 32. No, I need to be free. I need to be free to, to, to explore my artistry. <laughs> you really came at both of the guests in a very uh, offensive way. Very yeah. rude, I, I thought. No, very rude. I wanted to come in here and be offensive and not defensive. I know, I know you're Somebody's uh, rust-proofing isn't working. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all in good fun, Jeff. You know it's good. But IP, we don't know who the fuck you are. It's unfair. It's true. You're you a see man. me, you can Google me. I don't know who the fuck you are. <laughs> You could be like a little Filipino man behind that. <laughs> or two of them stacked on top of one another. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> metal oh, shit. Yeah, there you go. go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The audience is now There turning. you go. The metal audience asshole. out of nowhere. Wow. Patriot. Can you my... imagine if on an old Tonight Show, Ed McMahon just started <laughs> making fun of the guests when they came out? <laughs> He just ignores that yeah. question. <laughs> Do you have any roast coming up that I would fit on? That I'd be good to come up with? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's yeah. roasting R2-D2 on the Death Star. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about that you would fit into? I'm trying to I wouldn't even way. book you on the R2-D2 roast. <laughs> oh. I would dig up the robot from Lost in Space before I would... Fucking Iron Man's fucking retarded cousin over here. It's just Iron Deficiency Man. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, Jeff, I'm actually the Iron Patriot. I have to correct you. I'm Thank not you. Iron Man. I'm Iron Patriot. I'm the Roastmaster General. <laughs> Let's fight crime together, IP. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. What's next, Tony? What happens now? This we is get it. Well, let's get it right into the mainframe of the show. Most of you know how it works. Uh, over 40 comedians signed up tonight for the opportunity to do... 40? 45. Over, over 40. 45 comedians signed up for the opportunity to get one minute of time here tonight in front of you guys. <sighs> get some, perhaps some positive or uh, any kind of feedback that uh, you can possibly give them. Try to help them out a little bit. Um, it's not a competition, but uh, it is just a. Uh, well, there you go. A little, a little feedback. shout out for the guy that wanted mic feedback. Uh, Red Band really catering to you. Uh, <laughs> wow. Um, and uh, you guys know how it works. Comedians get picked. We pull randomly out of a bucket. We try to get through as many as we can in the allotted time. And uh, you get 60 seconds. You'll know your time's up that you've hit 60 seconds when you hear the meow of a kitty. That's what it sounds like. You better dismount then, because if you run your time, you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood band. And I mean, he really sounds angry tonight. <laughs> he, he interrupted you. He sounds you furious. Even. There you go. Uh, uh, wow, it's a really I, lively can crowd. I pick, can I pick? You want to pick? I'm going to pick the first you one. You pick first. Well, I'm going to pick the first one, guys. You guys ready? Uh, Kill Tony yeah. 32 with Jeff Ross and Bobby Lee. And the first name is... Can I read it? Sure. Craig Conant. Is there a Craig Conant? Craig Conant. Here he comes. Craig Conant. Deep in the gullet. Oh, fuck. What's up, Bobby? Hi. Yeah, I know you. One minute now? Yeah, go. Thank you. Um, I work at Trader Joe's, everybody. Trader Joe's is number one in customer service. Do you guys know why? Because they don't drug test. Look at this. <laughs> this guy works here. You guys ever go in there, you get that overexcited cashier that's more excited about your food than you are? Because it's me. He's like chocolate covered s'mores. Eat those in the microwave for like four to six seconds. They're fucking heavenly. Oh, that one didn't go over so good. But um, I, I work in West Hollywood and I have this half handsome, half homeless look going on. And uh, I get hit on. And, Which half? Uh, <laughs> That half. Um, <laughs> but sometimes I'll be ringing up a gay dude and he hits on me and it's like really gay and gross. I'm just like, ugh. And then sometimes he's clean shaven and he smells like honey mango and he makes me blush. Um, oh, shit. I'm sober now. There you go. That's your minute. 
That's Craig Cannot. I like it a lot. Fuck yeah. Uh, you're like a Tom's Roadsy kind of a guy. You, you're not Tom Rhodes at all? You're Tom Hit the Rhodes. Tom Hit the Rhodes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jeff Ross. Hell yeah, sit down. Make yourself hey, comfortable. Hey, hey, when you... <laughs> <laughs> when a joke bombs what is this, your birthday stand up <laughs> yeah you guys are making me nervous no you're doing great buddy now, when you j- bomb on a joke you don't have to don't put attention to it okay yeah. move on bro alright all right. yeah cause your whole act stuck you know what I mean so yeah. it's like you know, okay. <laughs> um no I like I like you you're very cute Thank you were great keep it up keep it up good luck good luck with whatever you do, choose to try next okay <laughs> There's a lot you could do with the Trader Joke, uh, definitely, because I, I think everyone's thought the same thing, that or Whole Foods, that, that, you know, that everyone there smokes weed and trips, and you could probably go deeper into that, that whole idea. Yeah, because it seems like the Whole Foods people prob- that work there probably have better weed yeah, than true. the Trader Joe's <laughs> You got, like, the Mexican shake or something like that. Or... Yeah, it's laced. No, I don't know. Okay. Still yeah, trying to be funny. Maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> I quit. Your minutes up, kid. I know. Hey, hey uh, Tony, can I pick that Korean guy right up there? Because like two weeks ago, he came up to me and goes, "Hey, well, well, growing up, when I was watching on TV, I didn't think you were good." <laughs> That's what he said to me. And then he goes, "But now you're all right, you know." Forty-five people signed up for the random opportunity to do a minute. You want to start handpicking Koreans <laughs> out of the front row? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Are there any more Koreans here that would like a chance of? Uh, oh, yeah, this. All right. Opa. Okay. You want to pick Jeff? Wait, Bobby, Bobby. I'll I'll let you know when we're going to pick new names. Craig Canant is still on stage. I don't oh, know if shit. you noticed that, but Why why? <laughs> you guys haven't dismissed me yet. So. You were great. It was fun. It was All right. It was great. Well, but it's not really it? about whether doing he's great or not. 3 years. 2. 2 years. Yeah. How many times a week do you go up? 3 4 good. Yeah. yeah. Where There's really not much to say because it's like you don't like, seem nervous and you're you know all right. You seem relevant, but you know I can't tell you. You know what I mean? So give me a hug, man. Get the fuck out of here. What would you say? If you, <laughs> but what would you say if you worked at Trader Joe's? What would what, what are some aspects you'd like to hear? What are some questions you would have for a guy that works at Trader Joe's? Well, I'm just saying that, like, I w- I'm not when people, someone's new, right? I would just rather see, hear about their like more specific life, about where they're from and all that kind of stuff. Right? Okay. In a minute, you know. I mean, you have that, that ring the bell shit at Trader Joe's, which is cute. You could probably go into something like that, you know, yeah. about how there's bells. It's, you know, it is just, and just really dissect your store as if you're, they're all drug addicks. And like, I wouldn't call gay people gross. I think that's yeah, a little, that's, bit, that was a little, a little bit overkill. Where are you from? L.A. Really? Yeah. Wow. Why do you look like Leonard Skinner? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what part of L.A. did you grow up in? Um, all over. Lamita, Torrance, Redonda Beach. Culver uh, City, Inglewood. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hollywood. Ingle. Ingle. I just want to say something. I don't want to say something. Can I just say something? I want to say something. You're a guest on the There's show. Two you can types say whatever of you comedians, want. comedians, right? There's like the ones that want to do the road and do stand up forever, right? And just go on the road. Yeah. And then there are guys that like want to put a, together a 10 minute set, get an agent, try to audition, and become like a TV person. You know, I don't. Who do you want to be? The road. You want to be a road guy? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. There he goes, everybody. <laughs> Craig Conant. He's on Twitter at Craig Conant. That was an interesting I felt name. so bad for him being the first person. That was so awkward for him. <laughs> well, the first person always takes like a bullet. That was, was very cute. good. It was, yeah. it was great was for fun. the first person. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Pick Let's another try. one, Bobby. So, maybe, so are you saying the quicker we go, the more people in this room will get on stage? It's not about how quick we go. It's but I know, but I'm just curious. Yeah. Like. All the names of the people are all the people in the room right now. A lot of them. If not, then they get blacklisted and they can't sign up again. And according this to is cutthroat. When, yeah, when Bobby's on, actually we have a special Bobby Lee rule that when Bobby's on that he made, they get banned from the club for three months. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's spot. for sure. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's is that been, a good thing or a bad thing? It's yeah. Getting banned from the club. Yeah. Depends on what trajectory. I mean, everybody's different. Who knows? There you go. Jeff Ross picking out of the bucket. For those of you listening, and pick the Korean, work. pick the Korean. What does it say? Dave Emerson. Dave Emerson. Emerson. Dave Emerson. Dave Emerson. If I don't see somebody oh. moving, somebody's he's gonna banned. get. He's fucking banned. <laughs> blacklisted. Seriously, he's banned. He's banned. That's the sound yeah. of being blacklisted. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in my pocket. All right, he's banned. You're gonna All give right. it to Tommy after. Give it to Tommy. Yeah. Right. I asked about that, and then it happened. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty amazing. Simulation theory. 
Here, pick another one. Here we go. Jeff Ross, hand in the bucket. Waving it in the air. Bobby reads it. Casey Skinner. Casey Skinner. Oh, yeah. The human being. Don't you hate it when you're making love to the wife and the husband keeps making eye contact? <laughs> Fucking boner killer. <laughs> My girlfriend has passive aggressive orgasms. <laughs> sure, she's screaming, but it always seems like it's about the dishes. Stop. People get so offended so easily these days. This girl got so offended, uh, I said, maybe it skips a generation. Uh, it's not my fault. Her parents are dead and she just had a miscarriage. <laughs> uh, do you think the KKK... Do you think the KKK ranks their members by a thread count? I'm just saying, have you seen the wizards? Looks like they're in silk. Have you seen the, the intern, the runner for the KKK? It looks like... Um, all I know is, is to hold a point like that, uh, it takes a lot of starch. It's a lot of work there. <laughs> Come on. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. You sway a lot. Are you the Iron Patriots yeah. twin brother? <laughs> you move Do, a do you lot. have a thing? Like, a, like you have Tourette's or something? Or some sort of physical you thing? You hear something funny? What? Uh, you, we didn't hear it in your 60 please don't seconds. Stand. Please stand. Please stand, please. Thank you. <laughs> this, this is the first time we've ever been on stage. Wow. wow. Boom. We love that. The cherry popper. We, we pull a lot of those off here, man. We've had at least 10, 20. There it is. The sweet I like your look. You know, you're like a sick jezelneck. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> Stage four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, you're a regular there. So you don't go. So th this is, you decided that this is the first place to showcase to go up. I came up to um, put my name on the open mic and it was already gone. Ooh. And I just put this on. I figured it'll come up. Awesome. And that was it. Congratulations. You got, you got Congratulations. upgraded. Great. Heck yeah. Yeah, and now I have to do like my first set in front of fucking Jeff Ross. What a great story. And me, fuckface. <laughs> <laughs> and me, fuckface. Oh, Thank yeah. you, fuckface. Thank you. I forgot about that. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> well, then, you know what you can do is, is just learn to keep the mic steady. Put your phone down. It shouldn't be in your hand. It seems very weird, you know, to have your phone... And uh, relax a little bit, and you'll be. You should try it again sometime. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you should. Where'd you come from? You live in L.A. His mom's butt. Yeah. Really? So you're also so originally really. from L.A. No, came from New York. How long have you been here? Oh, almost two years. What'd you come out here to do? Uh, music. What do you play? I don't play. I produce. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> Where do you work? I have my own studio downtown. Studio apartment. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, you're 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 definitely you know one-liners. Uh, is that what your style like the kind of style that you're going for, or is that just what you thought? I just like one-liners. Okay. I just like getting right to it. Because you know, doing 60 minutes of one-liners, that's like 120 one jokes almost. <laughs> yeah, I know. Awesome. That's good. Henny Youngman, king of one-liners. Fuck yeah. Jay London. Jay London. Jay London's king fantastic. of Santa Monica I think Monica I gave Beach. a better example. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> I think yeah, anyone that like, does stand-up is brave, and that's what you get. You, I mean, you came up here, you, and you're brave, and uh, congratulations. Yeah, that's Keep totally going, awesome. Keep going it's on. like jumping out of an airplane or something. It is, yeah. yeah. Yep. Welcome. Congratulations. Thanks. Casey Skinner's first set. Thank you. You saw it here. Bobby's got his hand in the bucket. Korean guy, Korean guy, Korean guy. Jeez. A lot of people online think he's your uh, brother, by the way. No, he's not. JT. GT. Oh, this guy's crazy. I love it. The clapping's getting louder. You don't want them to clap. that GT on my part. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Good. When's the minute start yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right started. Oh, okay. Well, I was, uh, I was dating some, uh, some Indian girl, East, some East Indian girl, and uh, whole, the whole thing about her, she wanted to look like Kim Kardashian, you know what I mean? She, she, she did look like kind of Kim Kardashian, but she didn't really have the booty, so she was like, I'm going to get the booty, 
So I was like, the whole time, I was like, we're doing the workout. It's like, I'm going to get my booty. All right, cool. It was like, one day I was like, I was lying in my bed. I was like, she's going to the bathroom. I'm like, I'm just watching you go to the bathroom, girl. It's like, don't look at my booty. You look at my booty. I, I ain't looking at your booty. You know what I mean? You're just going to the bathroom. It's like, I'm watching you go to the bathroom. I'm checking you. I'm not checking out your booty. I'm just like, even though you ain't got much of a booty. It's like, you know what I learned by this? Wow, straight to the angry bear. That's a first. Wow. I didn't even get to my punchline. What the fuck? You didn't. Wow. I mean, it's a minute. Oh, it's like, you know what I learned by dating this Indian girl? That the red dot on the forehead meant the coffee was ready. Wow. So, <laughs> How much longer until you were going to say that part? You were so I was going to tell her to go down to Pink Dot and grab me some, uh, get some uh, overpriced chips and get yourself, get yourself a Pink Dot. Fuck yeah. That's, so, not, that's not marijuana, is that? Uh, that's an interesting one. You know, like a crazy guy on a bridge, like, how, <laughs> like you know how they scream about the apocalypse? Go, go. That's what it seemed like to me, you know what I mean? That you're just going crazy. Is that? Well, I used to be crazy. Yeah. Whoa. Well, can wow, I, I else? see I it's starting to, to come out again. Also, there was a time where you were very aggressive toward me. Like what? you would come up and like squeeze my ears or like, pinch my butthole. I, I, I thought you were Chinese, so I was going. I don't want. And it's like one day you looked at me like, "Hey, dude, I can, what the I can get." I was like, "Patriot, get ready to Holy pounce." Shit. You're like, "I, I could get you." Fight. He just looked at me like, "Hey, dude, I could get you kicked out of here forever." I said that. Wow. You kind of had that look. You kind of wow. had that look. I didn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Like, this is my normal look. That's my normal look. <laughs> hey, I was like, no, no. I was just all I did was just come up to you and go. Boom, boom, wah. And I thought you were Chinese, so that's it. GT, we, does this work? You this... get. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, dude, you had a minute. You didn't do one punchline in the whole joke. You sounded like a crazy person. And I yeah, mean, the last booty time, and the dumb were... thing. That's the... two different. That's two different jokes all together. Yeah. The last time you had a couple jokes about your girlfriend being a hooker and all that stuff, it, you know, I could see you were attempting what you were attempting to do. Was there a joke in there that we just missed, or, or did you just get some meth in the bathroom? What was the booty thing? <laughs> well, I was just said. Uh, How did know, that end? I, well, I was just like, man, I just came out of here. I was way in the back. I was bummed out. So by the time I didn't know when the minute was going to start, so I didn't know how to set up yet. There you go. GT, everybody. He's on Twitter at GT Music. GT. There he goes. He don't kill me. Don't kill me, okay? There he Thank goes. Wow. I think you should pick from now on, because I'm, I'm fucking it up. <laughs> <laughs> Patriot, how you doing over there? You okay? Yeah, you guys are doing a good job. Thank you. <laughs> Next comedian goes by the name of Scott Kidd. Mm. Here he is, it's Scott Kidd. He's been on a few. So I like to use Facebook. I use it to network. I use it to pick up chicks. But I keep getting all these fucking requests to play Candy Crush. And what plagues me is that I get five requests a day from the ugliest, fattest women to play Candy Crush. Why is it that every one of these women look like they need an insulin shot before they start playing Candy Crush. There's this one huge fat bitch who I know for a fact is sitting in front of her computer with a huge cellophane bag of hard candy just crushing the fuck out of it. Just, ah, ah, don't get me wrong. I'll crush the fuck out of some candy. But I'm not playing motherfucking Candy Crush. <laughs> what is that? Okay. Are we it's supposed good, to good, know when good. you do that lift and yeah, slam thing at the good. mic stand that that's your thing? Yes, that's it. That was good. Court is now in session. Fuck yeah. Well, you're really staying in that Candy Crush pocket. <laughs> um, interesting. Oh. Yeah. Oh. A lot of hate. A lot yeah. of hate. Yeah. When, a, when a white dude talks about fat chicks, it just doesn't work for me. Yeah. No? You're being, you're being mean, and it's like, you know... If you were like a good looking white dude, maybe that'd be yeah, fun, yeah, but like yeah. you're not. Maybe. You're maybe. like, it's like someone drew you. Right. You know what I mean? 
That's what I'm going like for. someone said, I'm going to draw a white person, and then they drew you. And then you're like, what the fuck is he talking about? He can't get fat chicks or nobody right now. Now, when you get credits, dude, when you get credits, maybe you'll be able to get like an Esther Pavinsky or something like that. Is that her name? Is that her name? What are we talking about? I'm, your ex-girlfriend. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. But, but right Thank now, you. right That's, now, you know what I mean? Let's just like work I'm, on being likable. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Yeah, dog. Yeah. <laughs> are these people going to kill me? No, nobody's going to kill leave. Tony. Yeah, not, Nobody kill me, okay? Yeah, All right. They're going to kill Tony. <laughs> I never well, noticed that he... Thank you, Korean. Thank you. Thank you, Korean. What, how long did you work on that bit before you presented it here tonight? Uh, I did it once uh, before, twice before, actually, uh, across the street this past weekend and then like some other shows. But it's more something I've just been running into. I don't know, the whole insulin thing, I haven't... That was new. Yeah. Uh, but it, it usually, it's just something that I kind of slap around and, you know, like a fat chick. But anyway, um, wow. You really have something uh, against yeah. that chick. It really no, seems I like you I could don't. take... I came from one. It really seems like you could uh, rewrite the whole bit into something like, you know, I keep on getting Candy Crush requests, and they all seem like they ate all the candy. Yeah. Boom. Next. Yeah. You know, or it's anything, big hatred, I mean, just, and, yeah. you know... You gotta yeah. just get to the point. Was I'm really just trying to make it last a minute. Was your mother fat? Was your mother <laughs> yeah, fat? she was. She, she was. is. She is. She, she is. used to beat you. Yep. Yeah, she did. She did. So that's, that's what where it it's is. coming that's from. Yeah, totally. Is. Mommy Thank issues. You. Wow. Yeah. Maybe Dr. therapy. Bobby. Therapy, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I can't use this as therapy. No, 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 no. Oh, no, my. No. That's my. What do you do for a, a living? <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, right now, I do freelance, like uh, graphic work. So yeah. comedy is like your way to let it rip, let all your aggressions out. Most of the time, yes. I can see that. <laughs> okay, be it, careful with is that. Is it an Argentina <laughs> national? It is, it is. You like Argentina? Uh, yes. Are you please. Argentinian? No, no, I'm not. Oh, but you're, you're a fan of the soccer? Yeah, I am. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Name me three players. I was hoping uh, maybe I could <laughs> get a little messy, but. Um, oh, messy, okay. But yeah, uh, what's the other? Uh, Bloody uh, Suka, uh, which okay. is pretty old. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're a fraud. You're a fraud. I'm a fraud? <laughs> <laughs> You're cutting deep tonight. I'm so I sorry. I just, I, I, my girlfriend's waiting at home. I, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Thanks, I love, no, I love you, so being great. Here. I love it. Thank you so much, man. There you go, right. Scott Kidd, everybody. Okay. Scott Kidd, Kid, everybody. Kid. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me ask you guys this. Did, when you first started comedy, do you remember a joke that you're embarrassed that you had that you did? Yeah, I did one. Do you remember it? Yeah, I, well, I said... Uh, I'm so lonely when I masturbate, I grab my own ass. <laughs> and then I used to turn around to the crowd and go, yeah, do me, do me, like that. That's so funny. No, it wasn't. Really? Nah. Disgusted me. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, they have so many bad jokes, you know? Yeah. I've re I mean, you know, I know what it's... I, I've, been doing, I've been doing it for, forever. Right. You know, and it's like, I know the struggles. It's, it takes a long time. Yeah. You know what it is? What I figured out, it's not even about being funny. It's just about staying in it. Yeah. You know, dudes that stay in it generally make it eventually because their friends make it, right? I'm serious. Like when I did open mics, I used to host the open mics here in the late 90s. Thank you so much. And a lot of those people like, like you know, Morgan Murphy or even like Nick Swartz and these kind of guys, they used to do the open mics. They all kind of just stuck around. And they were talented, but the guys that quit never make it, obviously. You know what I mean? So just don't quit. Just keep going. You know? That's all. Hell yeah. That's great. Great advice, Bob. Jeff, do you remember a joke you did when you first started out that you're embarrassed about? One of my first jokes was about my father being a uh, caterer. And I was on the Little League team. And instead of uh, giving me a baseball bat for my birthday, he gave me a Hebrew national salami. <laughs> and I took that to Little League practice. <laughs> <laughs> do, you guys, do you guys have your like notes from when you first started out? I, I found mine the other day, and I was just, oh, what the hell was I thinking? I have a journal. I should read it one day. It's like the first year of me doing stand up, and me being mad at like, you know what I mean? Oh man, they didn't put me at this open mic in San Diego. I'm gonna fucking kill that manager. Like shit like that. You know what, wow. what I mean? Like I would like because I wanted it so bad. You know what I mean? I was so hungry. I'm a very, I was very opportunistic. That's what people said. I didn't have a lot of friends. Because it was just because I was 23, pussyless, moneyless. I had nothing, 
and I found it a gateway to like you know my, my salvation, you know. So I, anybody that would get in my way, I would just like get all angry and shit, you know what I mean? But I have a journal. I'm even read it one day. You yeah, know? you should do that on awesome. podcast. Read the whole thing. Yeah, I will maybe. Cool. I will maybe. Bobby, didn't didn't you work at a coffee shop? And then you got fired, and you went to the first place. It was in San Diego. The first place next door was the comedy store. Yes, that's true. Yeah, how the yeah. fuck do you know that? Well, I was reading about you. Um, do you think if it was a meat <laughs> shop, you would have become a butcher? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my fucking You were doing God. good. You were digging you were yourself good. out of a hole for a moment. No, I worked then... at this place called Disc Cafe, and one day I went to work, and it was completely closed, and they didn't call me. We didn't have cell phones back then. It was in the 90s, right? Wow. And then... I went next door because they had a help wanted sign at the comedy store in La Jolla, and I knocked on the door, and they go, do you want to be a bar back? And I became a bar back there first. Wow. And then wow. Um, maybe like a month in, Fred Burns, who used to manage the place, said, hey, kid, you want to go up? And I went up for like three minutes, and then I just kept going. And then you, you know. fell in love with it. Well, not really, but I just kept going. Was there somebody that you saw there that like no, – It was Jennifer Field. I, here's what it, Here's what it is. The only girls I got, because I was 23, the only girls I got was prostitutes in Tijuana. You, you, thank you so much. I used to go to this place called Coahuila, Coahuila, Coahuila Street, and there was a place called Adelita, right? And look at the girls judging me right now. When you're fat and ethnic, I got nothing, okay? And so we used to go there every week and, you know, and get hookers for like 60 bucks, right? And then I started doing stand-up, and then one night, this girl, Jennifer Field, walked with me, just this hottest white chick. She goes, I just, can you take me on a date? And I, no girls liked me, right? And that's what hooked me, because she saw me do stand-up, and then I got laid, and then that's how it happened. Wow. So you're like, I'm Thank into you. this. Thank you, Jennifer, if you're listening. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Jennifer Field. She had a pink pussy. I loved it. Thank oh. you so much. Jennifer Field much. changed the trajectory of Korean comedians forever. By giving her a taste of that sweet... That's a beautiful story. Thank you for sharing Thank you, that. Jeff. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you. Your next comedian tonight goes by the name of Brian Hippert. Hey, girls. No girls. You have a girl back there. There's girls. Two regular things come on at the end that are always girls. Uh-oh. Brian Hippert, are you here? Uh -oh. There he is. Brian Hippert. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Evening, everyone. <laughs> Married 10 years now, and uh, the other morning I work at nights at a hotel at a hotel doing security, and I got home the other night. Uh, apparently, I found some lip liner on the floor, put it on the bathroom counter. Just as I was about to fall asleep, my wife says, "This isn't my color. Who shit is this?" But it sounds more uh, Mexican, because uh, she's an uppy Mexican. She calls herself Spanish. So she yelled at me in Spanish and English. She said, who's this? Who's this? I said, baby, I'm not cheating on you. She said, who is it? Who is in this house? I said, it probably came from the hotel. She said, well, who is it? I just got so goddamn frustrated that I just reached over the side of the bed, grabbed my comrade, threw it at her, and said, meet my mistress. All right. <laughs> I'm, half, I'm half black, half white, and I uh, grew up in a predominantly white town. <laughs> This one quick? Mick. Yeah, the nickname was McNigger. <laughs> okay. You should have opened with that. <laughs> the information, you, fu you fucked up the first joke. You put the information about your wife first, and then you set up the joke. But you set up the joke, then did the information about the fucking wife, and then we're all fucking lost. Wow! Fucked up. I'm sorry about that. Um, <laughs> oh no, 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 no! I'm sorry. No, oh, I was too mean. I'm so sorry, my friend. The, uh, what sorry, kind of man. security guard are you? He was nice You're an insecurity nice guard. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying to give you some joke. You know, constru you know the construction of the joke. He's not insulting yeah. you. You understand? Oh no, I didn't take it as an insult. You really want to move that mic stand when you go on stage because it was just like crinkling, making noise. Just put it behind you, you know, right when you get on stage. Explain you know what? Half black, half. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. sorry. Go on. The other guy did this too. Little. If you've never been on stage or you've only been on stage once or twice, just try doing this when you get up here. And then you'll be able to walk around the whole front of the stage <laughs> and you, nothing will squeak and you'll feel, you'll feel loose. And Somebody sometimes when this is in front of you like this, it, it pulls focus, right? So it's like putting back of you. 
Or you're not that physical, so why don't you just keep it in the mic and be a talking head? So put, the, put that thing that. in the mic, right? And just stand there like that, with don't, yeah, like that, and just do it that way. Just talk like this? Yeah, like that. Now do, do the last joke that you did that was the quick yeah, one. Yeah, do the new one. Do it just I'll like do, that, yeah. but face the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> now do it. I grew I'm half black, half white. I grew up in a predominantly white town in uh, all through high schools. Just uh, my nickname was McNigger. <laughs> okay, good. Got a little better? Got a little better? Well, really good. Really good. I love it. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Why really am I giving this guy tips? <laughs> <laughs> you feel bad for me because I wore white shoes? Yeah. No, the shoes aren't the problem. <laughs> what the shoes are great. But they are kind of a problem. Though. What the hell are those white shoes? <laughs> Honestly, how, long have you, I, how long have you been doing it? Um, I Too did long. A I did a little bit <laughs> ten years ago until my wife said I'm not marrying a stand-up comedian. And well, then why would you fucking marry a girl like that? She has great why would tits. you marry a girl that doesn't support your fucking dreams, man? She have you seen tits. his fucking show? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, She's yeah. trying to help. Two worst forgot. jokes no, I ever heard in my life. <laughs> I don't. No, I, honestly, you know I'm what? with the wife on this one. <laughs> no, actually, what got me, what actually got me motivated to come back up here was, uh, and this is fucked up, but uh, season four of Eastbound Down, East Down. He's bounding down. That yeah. got me motivated to come back up. Why? That's a TV show. I know, but Be, the, whole Kenny Powell, the, I know oh. the whole Kenny Powell struggle, it kind of related to me because I've been exterminated for the last 10 years, finally got my degree, and now I'm fucking working hotel security part-time, and honestly, I fucking don't want to work or else I'm going to end up hanging myself or shooting myself. I'm probably going to hang myself. No, don't, 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 don't. Oh, 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 I'd probably end up shooting myself because no, no way hang yourself. Hang gonna yourself, work. you're gonna do it. Let him finish the no, joke. <laughs> no, there's no eight foot <laughs> ceilings in a one bedroom apartment. Wait, say it again. There's no eight foot ceilings in a one bedroom apartment. <laughs> <laughs> so he can't hang him. No, he was doing a joke. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I actually like that joke. Oh, I would have, I would have hung myself by now, but there's no eight foot ceilings in a. I would change it to studio, but do it. so wait, you live in a one bedroom apartment with a chick that didn't want to marry you if you were a stand up, but you were an exterminator? That's right. And I have uh, and I can't have children because I've had three traumatic ball injuries that have left me scared. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's your opener. That is totally That's your opener. Your opener. Yeah, right there. Tell what the me fuck? what happened. What happened? We, name me the first one. Yeah, first let's, one, let's in, go in, in order. In high school I lost a bet and had to play on the field hockey team with the girls. The one game I didn't wear a cup, I caught a stick right to the balls, and I actually had to have an eight-gauge needle shoved into my sack to drain the fluid. Ooh. Wow. Oh. Wait, I'm sorry. It, that was the number one one? What's number two? <laughs> oh, two. <laughs> There's three? Number two was in the Navy. Um, oh, shit. A guy I really want to get into it. Yeah, it go Thailand. do it. It was Thailand. The guy was sucking you off. No. <laughs> No, actually, that did happen. Uh, there was man boys. I was high on opium. I did a shitload of those mind erasers. They got at Club Shark in Thailand, Phuket Town, and then some guy talked me into smoking opium. He didn't have to try too hard. But Bobby, why would you do I'm that? I'm in the him? alley. Great, I'm, no, I'm in the alley. This, is the, this my, is the good shit right here. Dude. I'm in the alley with my buddy, and you know we two two. They had big tits, and I was like, "Oh shit! They go. Well, they gotta be. They gotta be girls." So I'm getting sucked off. And yeah, everyone made that assumption. Yeah, you know, she's su she's squatting. Oh, fuck. Wow. My buddy starts tapping me, but I mean, it's head I'm paying for, so. Tapping you? Tapping you yeah, from he, behind? He's tapping me because he can see that he's got balls. I'm not seeing it. So he's like, balls, balls, balls. And he's I'm like, tapping you and he's saying balls? Yeah, and I, I'm almost and there, so as I said, I'm going to finish. And you were about to finish when yeah, he's so saying I said, balls. Fuck it, I, I said, fuck it, I finished. And... <laughs> what, what did that have anything to do with your nutsack injury, though? Oh, no. When yeah, I was what was the Navy, second no, nut injury? When we were in Thailand, um, I was trying so to... So that story had nothing to do with your... You, you, right. you keep that well, to no, yourself, no, you fucker. Brought, you brought it... I no, asked no, no, what? I asked for the three incidents, oh. and then you start going on a tangent of some other thing. I don't want to know about that, I fucker. I apologize about that. Right. I, I brought that up. That was my okay, fault. That was fault. Yeah. Okay. All right, sorry. My bad. The second one I, was, I made a joke <laughs> thinking that it would just get a laugh. It did, and then he's like, actually, that did happen to me as well. That's oh, I see. I see what happened. The second one... My bad. The second one, I was on duty on my third day in Thailand, and I was trying to pry off a fire extinguisher uh, bracket <laughs> the crowbar slipped out and popped with tremendous force and hit me in the left nut what the oh, fuck man. dude and that fucking thing swelled up again and you i get had that to drained? Have my nuts drained again oh wow 
Wow, wow, wow. Now, the third one. <laughs> the third one, that's just fucking. The third one was in 2001. I had just got my oh, wife God. pregnant. Okay? Wow. You've, dropped, you've dropped more balls than Dick Clark. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kai. Now, I, now, I'm up on the ladder. I was working overnight stock in the paint department. Now, they have cases, they, have, they come in, four ga in cases of four gallons. I'm holding it against my chest. I'm leaning against, I'm leaning against, I got my nuts resting on the, uh, <laughs> uh, on the orange metal. What? I got this fucking up. Wait, 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 wait. I got this. Slow down. Time out, time out, time out, time out. So you're holding what? A gallon of what? No, four. The, ca the four gallon case. And you have your nuts on some meaning, shelf? It's, meaning it's so heavy back he's like resting this. it on his crotch so he can like carry this. it. You know, I've, so I know. I've got this, this woman, this Tip woman comes up behind me. Like, you know, she, it's in Orange County, so this is up in Newport Beach cut. She says, Yikes. is my fucking pain ready yet? I lost my shit. I went up like that. The cheap ass cardboard breaks. Four gallons. Boom. Boom. Wow. Oh. Bruised over 85% on both testicles. <laughs> and there's a sad but ironic part is eight months later, my wife lost the baby. And that's, that's kind of oh, sad. Wow. Leave that out. Jesus I know, yeah, I know. Christ. Leave that out. So, fuck. All right. Uh, I, no, stop. I'm going to hang myself now. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jesus. buddy. Could you? I, th I, I, I don't want to. It's oh, fine. Oh, I thought you. Oh, <laughs> but thank you so much. Uh, if I may, if, if, if I may, real quick. Yeah, go uh, ahead. Just an honor to be up here with Jeff Ross. Like I'm so. <laughs> I love that everybody He's keeps like, doing that. No, no. Yeah. Bobby wait, wait, wait. Lee, Bobby Lee, the best skit on Mad TV ever was the Daywoo guy. Oh, thank you. All right. No, but okay. Thank you so much. Uh, no, no, great job, though. Great job. Thank you. You. Thank those you. were great stories. Thank you. They were yeah, great those, stories. What's your name? What's your name? Brian Hippert. Brian Hippert, that's H-I-P-P-E-R-T. You're not on Twitter? Not yet. I'm still trying to think about it. Oh, handle. there you go. Friend him on Facebook. Brian Hippert. <laughs> Maybe I should be sterile guy at... Or at sterile there guy. There might already be a sterile guy out there. Sterile guy... Uh, uh, thank you very much, though, gentlemen. All right. Yeah. Thanks, man. You got Absolutely. some balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It How? takes... All you need is to yeah. Shut up. It, <laughs> stop it. It takes a lot of balls to do what he did. There we go. Like really though, like how have you guys ever had any injury to your balls ever? No. How does he get Never. three? He made me worry a little bit about when I got kicked in the balls playing soccer in uh, like fifth grade. How long did, did you puke? What I laid happened? on the ground for so long it hurt so bad, and now I'm starting to wonder like maybe it stunted my growth or something. Oh. <laughs> stunted your growth. <laughs> Doesn't it get big when you get a hernia too? You get the big ball. That happens to you? No, I've, I've heard about that. It hap didn't happen to me. Yeah. Yes, it does. It's true, though. Huh? Okay. It happened to you? No, it didn't. I don't have a scratch on my nutsack. Do you guys have big I balls? Love them like so big Ari Shafir balls, or do you have normal sized balls? Have you seen uh, Bad Grandpa? There's a funny skit with his balls in it. They used to call me at Mad TV Black Sack because. <laughs> Black Sack? Yeah, because I have real ethnic nutsacks. What's an ethnic nutsack? I've seen your nutsack a few times. Yeah, they're actually. dark. They're very dark, and it's like, it's abnormal. He has black balls. I, cool. Yeah, my balls are black. Shut the fuck up. Show us. Show us. I'll show, show you. Show everybody. Not, 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 not you people, but just you. Can you, you can I just turn around? Okay. You showed your balls on the burn, remember? I, I know, but that was blurred out. Oh. Yeah. No, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Yeah, I want to yeah. see this. Yeah, okay. I'll let, wait. let me pick. Let me pick. Let me pick. <laughs> okay. I shouldn't have shared that fucking Black information. Balls. Let's, you're yeah, like yeah. Let's move on. Let's fucking like move on, dude. Dog or something. <laughs> this black oh, balls. Oh fuck! Do I have to say this? Let me see. Oh shit! Yeah, you have to say it. It's Mugzilla. Right. Mugzilla's been doing the open mic at the comedy store for about twenty some years. Yeah, you're done picking. It's crazy. I'd like to talk about traditions. We have Hollywood traditions, and people just don't follow them. You can tell the real posers, the newbies. I was at a Thanksgiving dinner, and after everybody ate, nobody went into the bathroom and barfed up. Uh, I'm Italian. We're like the original bulimics. Hey, who was the first guy that came up with a barfatorium? The old lady comes up and goes, dude, your friends are not only peeing all over the place, they're barfing all over the place. And how about the second guy? I don't care what the Caesars have. We're not getting a barfatorium. 
And then how do you show people? You invite them over, you know, to show them your new bathroom addition. Hey, I got this new remodel, but uh, first, let's eat. I think I actually just heard someone in the audience pass away. <laughs> Mugzilla, I don't know if there's any advice we could really give you. How long have you been doing stand-up? I've been doing stand-up for so long. How long is it? That Jeez. Bobby was hosting when I started. Wow. My fondest early memories are of Bobby Lee. Wow, just think, he's had a full-blown career, and you're still right there at the bottom. Oh, Isn't don't that say amazing? that. Oh, Are you on medication? I feel like you're calmer now. Are yeah. you on medication? Well, you know, I've been hanging with Jem. <laughs> That's like hitting the heavy bag. You guys don't know about Jem. He grows his own weed. And then I make... Okay. It's just unbearable. Oh, Mike Silly, you just got to go. I can't pick any. I know. Mugzilla, I love you. You look great. Can I great. ask you one question? Yeah. Who? Okay. Oh, Have you ever heard that joke before? What? The Barfatorium joke. No, I don't even know what a Barfatorium is. That doesn't sound like a real thing. Okay, that's all. It was that's a real cool. thing. What's a Barfatorium? They, they were in, Rome, in ancient Rome. They would have a room to go barf in. Oh, well, there you go. I'd say stick with it. It's super topical. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people are... Uh, <laughs> If you ever do a show at a, like a... All right, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mugzilla, everybody. He's on Twitter at Mugzilla007. Michael Sofra. I do like the fact that he knew when it was over. He's like, thank you very much and got the fuck off. <laughs> yeah, he gets it. Gotta respect that. Yeah, he's super cool. I love him. Your next comedian is Missy Martinez, everybody. Wow. So exciting. Yeah. You know Missy. Me instead of putting it to the back. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> you only have 10 seconds yeah. left. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so I'm Missy Martinez. I'm a porn star, or the reason why your boyfriend or husband clears his web browser. Uh, I've been doing porn for four years, and I'm still as tight as Jean Benet Ramsey. <laughs> when she was alive, before she was murdered. <laughs> and yeah, I'm a porn star, and no, I wasn't molested. I tried hard though. My dad, he just, I don't know. But uh, growing up, I knew like in high school, I was gonna be really good at sex. I had a lot of practice, just dick, 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 dick. Which was kind of odd because I was homeschooled. So, but hey, I was undefeated homecoming and prom queen. Yeah, so. I don't know how long a minute is, I can't count. <laughs> is that what you have so far? You have 10 seconds left. You have another 10 seconds. Do I tap dance? It's all good. No, that's all right, great. There you Missy go. Martinez. Excellent. Was that your first time? That's your first time doing stand up? Very first time being on stage doing stand up. Wow. wow. That was very good. Oh, Missy. You. you know what's great is that you definitely have a perspective, obviously, since you're a porn star. Look what you just did to that. Rub the <laughs> I'm off duty today. You got to rub the stand up be up below it to make it up. I've never had a black one before. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, <laughs> good girl. <laughs> Jesus I mean, Christ. She's talking about mics. Have you ever had yeah. a white mic? Anyway, uh, so that's awesome. I mean, she had, you have punchlines, and if that's your first time, I, I, that was really good. Really? Yeah, that was yeah. really good. Oh, I was really nervous because even though there, my butthole's all over the internet, this is a different type of vulnerability. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I can totally relate. Right? <laughs> he knows what I'm saying. Yeah. Anal bleaching. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Boom. Uh, the biggest tip I would say is uh, project your voice more into the microphone because you're a very, you have a very quiet voice. Oh, it, isn't it school-go voice? Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. Yeah, but it, you have to. It's really hard to work. <laughs> oh, everyone's been insulting Bobby. I had to join in. Oh, okay. There you go. But yeah, it's really, it was it was kind of hard to hear you, I'm sure. In, oh, you know, okay. In the back and stuff like that. But and I wouldn't break up your material with that little giggle that you did. It's great and that's yeah. cool. But I think just keep going and just keep yeah. driving it in there. Yeah. Like the you, we could tell where the definite breaks in between your jo jokes were. Okay. Um, and you could just keep it flowing, and because we don't need to know when the end of the joke is. You know, and you can also tag the things that you did say that got laughs because they were really funny because they do come from a perspective that people aren't used to. You know, like uh, when you say, um, uh, 
but I tried, you know, I didn't get molested as a kid, but I tried, you know, it, I don't know what exactly, but boom, boom, boom <laughs> after that. And then into the next thing. I really have no notes. No notes? It just keep going up. Keep yeah, going yeah totally. definitely keep going up. Totally. That's your first going minute. Up. Absolutely. Uh -huh. oh, Do this every so week. I love all you guys. Yeah. Hey, can I say something? Yes. Uh, of course. Uh, you know there's this new law where you got to wear condoms in the porno business. Does Actually, that change no. things at all or do you like it or what? No, we that, that law was overturned. It was considered unlawful because it is a violation of our First Amendment right of freedom of speech. Fuck really? yeah. I didn't right. know that. That's good news. Yeah. Gonorrhea yeah. for you and you <laughs> and <laughs> that guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Fuck well, thank yeah. you guys so much. It was an honor. Really you got it. it. Guys, give it up for Missy, Missy Martinez. Martinez. Follow her on Twitter, Missy X Martinez. And you can also catch her on a lot of Death Squad shows, too, so that's cool. Great job. Do we have any Purell for the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> Your next comedian goes by the name of Clee Wiggins, everybody. Oh, thank you. Me, too. All right, uh, let's see. Um, so... I, do, I uh, despite your uh, like snap judgment of me, I'm not actually uh, an uh, unhappy lesbian. I actually do like the dick. Yeah. So uh, and Missy, Missy, you were hilarious. Uh, but I, before I have a boyfriend now, and he's also a black nerd like me. Like I'm, I'm wearing a Star Wars T-shirt. But before I dated him, I actually fucked a ginger once. Oh uh, well, yeah. <laughs> there is that. <laughs> But he did actually represent for his people very well. I would give him a solid like three and a half stars out of five. Uh, but the first time we ever hooked up, his roommate walked in on us. And uh, his roommate goes, you guys look like Neapolitan ice cream. His thing, I was mad that he got to be two of the three flavors. Like my angry Negro kicked in. I'm like, that's just the man keeping the sister down once again. How come you get to be two flavors? Like we're Neapolitan ice cream with caramel. That's how it goes. But then I found out, like, he grew up in Ventura County and didn't know any black people growing up. Oh, I'll finish there. Fuck it. Clee Wiggins. Awesome. Good job. You really hooked up with a redheaded guy? Actually, there's actually two. And the whole wow. joke is a combination of two different dudes that I combine into one for comedy purposes. Two different redheads? Do I what now? Two different redheads? <laughs> yeah, I fucked, I fucked two redheaded white guys and I made a joke. But, but I make it one white guy so I don't have to... Is Do that like much. a fetish for black ladies? No. Because that is probably, I feel like that's like the whitest white. Right. I mean, if you're going to rebel, that's the way to go. Because they're always super pale, too. I just did it because, I, I mean, I grew up in San Francisco. And that's just choices. I got needs. Right. San Fran has a lot of redheads. It has a lot of white people, and you just got to pick right. your battles. Interesting. Red pubic hair? He did have red pubic uh. hair. Both of them. One of them was what do you think? What do you think? They're going to have brunette pubic hair? No, I, I dated a redhead and she had brown pubes. Oh my God. I've heard that's a thing. <laughs> you really think she was a natural redhead? No, she was. She really is. She just didn't have red pubic hair. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't match. <laughs> You're hilarious. I'll show you. It's on the internet. And I've hooked up with a blonde girl with brown eyebrows. I mean, she was dyeing her hair. That's part, that's but yeah, part of it. This girl is definitely red. Clee. Yes, Tony. Um, I need to sit down. So, you, uh, do you have a boyfriend now? Uh, uh yeah. I have you, a you know her boyfriend. Oh, I do. You know Ed? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. We've been dating for three years. We yeah, lived together. How do you not know that? Wow, I did not know that. I wouldn't guess that Ed would hook up with a girl that's been with two redheaded white guys. <laughs> Ed's a pretty tough. Eddie thing. in I'm the surprised. room. Eddie, you here? No, he's downstairs. He has, he has a spot. Okay. Later. Fuck yeah. I, I really don't. Uh, I, I have yeah, notes, he, private notes to give you. I don't know if really I can say it here out loud, but um. Why? Why would you hold back? Yeah, and I, I, I happen to know that Bobby's balls are like, kind of purplish. Yeah, well, dark purple. It's a dark purple. All right. Um, <laughs> it's purple shut the now. Fuck up, I thought they, I thought it was black. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna say it. I, I, I think that. Do you ever talk about your personal stuff? Oh yeah, I mean, like I talk medical, about like the medical stuff. Or yeah, no? I talk about my strokes and stuff. Yeah. I had a stroke. Well, she, had, she had a stroke. Four I strokes. Last she had four month. strokes. Yeah, I think that's something that's real that you can talk about. I, I, I was I was thinking about doing that one, and I just I went the other way. 
Okay, and then also the black nerd thing. I think that you, I know you. You are a nerd, and so is mm-hmm. Ed. You guys are the nerdiest people I know. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know a lot of black nerds. You know? Yeah, I have so a I bit think... about it, like because this actually happened when we first moved. Well, you, you should have done that when you were doing it. So <laughs> fuck you, all right? Whatever, oh. <laughs> but you should talk about. That I knew stuff. you back when you did, <laughs> right? So, but I like you, and um, you know, I don't know. What does that I'll mean? You're a nerd. What does that mean to you? Um, well, here's the thing. I mean, I, I, I'm one of those people I think nerd is overused, but I do think I, I consider myself a nerd. Let me ask but you a not question. A terrible, like a... What's Worf's son's name? Uh, Alexander. There we go. There you go. Wow. That's nerdy. Wow. Um, wow. In, on the on, on Ten Ford, there was a black lady that runs it. What's her name? Guinan. Yes. Oh, who's the way, who, who? What actress plays her? Whoopi Goldberg. Jesus yeah, but Christ. people don't know that. That's nerd shit. Yeah. <laughs> what's uh, the name? Why don't you ask me what two plus two is, Bobby? What's the name of the snow planet on Empire Strikes Back? Oh, that's easy. Why don't you? My name is Clee Wiggins, and it's called Hoth. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the animal, the animal that, the animal that um, died, Atauntan? and that that Luke went into the animal. Tauntaun. Okay. Oh, wow. That's I pretty nerdy, one. right? I own one. I own a Tauntaun. Yeah. Who directed time. Star Wars? Which one? <laughs> Any of them. Any of them? Yeah. Irving Kirshner directed Empire Strikes Back. Boom. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. That's a good one. I knew like, you were going to go who with that. Who wrote and directed uh, Return of the Jedi? Uh, well, Lawrence Kasdan. Kasdan, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Damn. That's nerdy shit, yeah. You have not only. <laughs> that is yeah, so yeah. awesome. I did that well into my 30s. <laughs> What's the difference between Star Trek and Star Wars? Wow. Wow. Um, Good luck. Deep. Star Trek <laughs> fans are called Trekkies, Star Wars fans are called Virgins. <laughs> I, go, I go both ways, so. Oh. Cause uh, yeah, you're, you're buying my it. next tattoo is probably gonna be the uh, Klingon Empire. Oh cool! Uh, logo on. The I'm, a, I'm a Trekkie myself, but uh, yeah. let's move on. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Fuck yeah! There you go, Klee Wiggins. She's Bye. on Twitter at Klee the Pimp. That's K L E E the Pimp. Very interesting to see like a uh, a black nerd. I yeah, but know, she should hot. talk about that. Though. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, it's like, totally. it's like uh, you know, I know that about her, and she, you know. Okay, you're done now, Cleo, right? Comic books. There's what stroke? a diverse group of people you attract, Tony. Yeah, in your definitely. Podcast. Definitely. Okay. Half, half of them, uh, half of them, I do believe, have to get back to the asylum pretty soon. Uh, but other than, that... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to give Cleo some tough love. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, who's talking? Really what true. the fuck? Stop Are you joining. being serious right now? This guy is. So you're interrupting a whole entire shoe to get an autograph. Brian, ha- hand him the marker. Get, hand him the shoe. Just hurry up. Just do it. I'm sorry. Jesus, Brian. Welcome to... Welcome to sign. You the ni- bl- this is a nice shoe. I know sign. I got it at the thrift store. It's the only nice thing that you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to sign it? I sign it. Where do you yeah, work? Seriously. Where do you work? Donald Trump's golf store? <laughs> Fairmont in Newport Beach. Fuck oh, yeah. yeah. You better sign it. Where do you want me to sign it? This is Fuck a strange, yeah. strange honor. I'm sorry, it's going to be interesting when he's hanging from a ceiling fan. They're going to think his name's Jeff Ross when they see his... <laughs> Jeff first, Ross first, died today. First thing they're going to do is see the shoe be like, oh, man. <laughs> Found <laughs> hanging. Poor guy. <laughs> Fuck yeah. There you go. He doesn't want me. He doesn't want mine. Oh, my God. Smells like sadness up here. Yeah. And salt and vinegar potato chips. Fuck yeah. That's a first. All there right, you go. Brian Hippert. We have time for one more brand spanking. We did have two more coming up, but because of Brian, we only got have one more now, guys. So just so you know that. Hilarious. Tony, what I wanted to say real quick before that is I had to give... All right, now we have no time left, everybody. <laughs> Put your hands together for Jake Beckman, everyone. Here he is, Jake Beckman. Oh. Jake Beckman, are you coming? Nope. He's blacklisted for three months, Bobby Lee style. <laughs> that means he's done. Three month Bobby Lee blacklisting. Amir Kabiri. Amir Kabiri. Here's another name for you to give. Uh, a name for you to give Tommy blacklisted Bobby. Um, my name is Amir. Uh, I'm originally from the South. People always ask me why I don't have a Southern accent, and I'll tell you why. It's because I'm also Middle Eastern, which makes it biologically impossible. Um, I, 
Thank you. I, uh, Middle Eastern people have to deal with certain issues that white people don't even think about. Like, for example, the other day I was driving, I spent so much time looking for parking that I had to shave again. It just, pff, at five o'clock shadow is, for me, is, it's a full-on beard. Well, one thing I love about being Middle Eastern is you can scare the shit out of anybody just by staring at them. In general, like, ethnic guys have a mysterious quality, I feel like. But I've learned the mysterious quality is different depending on what ethnicity you are. Like, for example, Spanish guys have a certain mysterious quality. It's like you look into their eyes. It's like they're saying, you may not know who I am, but I want to make a love to you right now. <laughs> Middle Eastern dudes have a different mystery. It's like you look in their eye. It's like they're saying, you may not know who I am, but I might be plotting something right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Mir Kabir. How many more, how many more of those were, did you have? Is that it? Is that the yeah, end of it? Yeah, well, so. nailed the minute. Um, fuck yeah. Um, Bobby, were you paying any attention to that? I was watching you go through pictures on your phone. No, I'm mad about something right now. What's sorry. wrong? What happened? Well, okay, my, the girl I'm seeing is attractive. Yeah. The white dude's on my Instagram say you don't deserve her because you're ugly. Aww. Wow. And then I had to fight them going, what, you're white because you're entitled to attractive girls? And it, it literally is driving me crazy. Why but anyway, are you that was a really good set, that? though. <laughs> Very good. Why yeah. are you listening to what n I just, losers, I, I, strangers I, are saying? Fucking crazy. That's all. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm How do sorry. they know what your girlfriend looks like? Because I have a photo on the Instagram, and then they go, "You don't deserve her. You're ugly and fat." And it's like, what the fuck, man? It's oh, like, they're probably just trying to make a joke. That's funny. Don't you know? No, it's not funny. Hate? But you a lot of people aren't funny. I'm fucking tired of that shit. First I know, of all, just block. No, it. I'm not gonna block fucking shit. Well, that's man. your own problem. These then. fucking cowards on the internet. I'm fucking tired of this shit. I can't take... even go on IMDb because there's nine pages of fucking forums talking about how awful I am as a human being. It's like it's a fuck. Anyway, I've had enough. So I'll, I'll see you guys later. No, 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 Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Oh, I don't you. Oh, Bobby, okay. relax. You did this last time too. I don't know. Are you alright? <laughs> You okay, Bobby? No, no, okay. All right. That doesn't help. We love you, Bobby. Okay. Oh, I love. Oh, Korean guy. Fuck yeah. But you know, from what I saw, though, can I say this, something to do? You know what I mean? You're cute. You have you, you. I feel like you know how to write jokes. How long you been doing it? Uh, Microphone. About uh, five, six months. Oh yeah. I mean, this kick, right? Right. Totally. From what I heard? Yeah. Yeah. You're in great shape. How old are you? How old? Yeah. Uh, I'm 25. Baby. You're baby. Your little baby. Your What's baby. your best joke? Uh, my best joke probably is the, the joke I did last time I was on this podcast. It's about uh, the Iranian space program and about how they sent a monkey into space. Okay. What's the joke? Oh, it's, yeah. Do you want me to tell it? Yeah, it's, tell the joke. Okay. Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. Just I'm say sorry, it. Man. Just relax. Well, uh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's kind of long, but all right. You have I'll, the fucking I'll, comedic I'll, timing I'll, of a suicide right. bomber. <laughs> All right. Why don't, uh, we, why don't you just get to the punchline? We okay. already know about the monkey in space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in Iran, we just sent a monkey into space. Uh, uh, not to the moon. We just sent it to space. And afterward, we had the president stand next to the monkey and make a speech on national television. And as I was watching, I realized something. That wasn't the same monkey. You can tell because it looks nothing like the original monkey. They sent a black monkey into space. He was standing next to a gray monkey. Which means either they, that monkey aged 40 years and three days... Or it was stressed out as fuck because they put it in an Iranian spaceship. I think it did a lot better the first time. I'm I sorry. I think so, too. Yeah. Didn't work. Okay, and okay. then after the monkey came back from space, he, uh, he went back to running the country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. New edition. Switch. Iranian space program material. I like that, yeah. Maybe I'll use it. Use that tag if that's, that's okay. Good. The tag, that's the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I would cut that's the rest of it. I'll just delete everything I wrote and I'll take yours. I like that you're taking on challenging topics. That's great. Mm -hmm. So I give you merit for that. Thank you. Yep. And you look great and you're young. You're very new at this. That's so exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. And Thank hopefully you. you'll come back soon. It's Amir yeah. Kabiri, everybody. Big fan of yours and Bobby, Thank you too. Of course. Okay. Okay, yeah, you can go in there. You're going to come right back? Yeah, of course. Okay. Come back, Bobby. I will, man. Bobby, Bobby's going to go pee. I love you, man. Hey, okay, you everybody, know. he's coming back. Just fucking relax. Don't pee for too long, Just let Bobby. him go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeff, how you doing? You having fun? I am. Patriot, how are you? I'm fine. I 
think he needs to start smoking marijuana so he settles down. He got all upset on the Instagram. Patriot, you can't tell people that are trying to be sober go, that they I need to smoke too? pot. Yeah, go pee. Wow. Fuck yeah. What, we're allowed to smoke pot on this podcast? It's a, yeah. Do you Where want is to? It? Where is it? Hilarious. Oh, uh, my God. What a debacle. We should probably just, just stop. Just relax. We should probably just get on with uh, the r rest of the show, right, while all this is going on? Well, I mean, they're just going pee. Yeah, but, but at the same time, I guess so. It's so great. Two of the biggest names we've had on. Two of the biggest unprofessionals I've ever seen. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> just kidding, guys. Um, fuck yeah. Well, every week we have two of these same girls go up and... Please don't bother them in the fucking restroom. These crazy maniacs that come to this show. It's so funny. Just saw some chick hounding outside the men's room. Animals here. Yeah. I love it. What else? Please, everybody, shut up that's in the room. Thank you. Girl in the corner, shut up. Yes, you. Shut up. <laughs> Thank you. I just lost control of my own show, so if I seem a little disappointed, it's because I lost control of my show. My get You've never seen that on Carson, right? Hey, Johnny, I'm just going to get up for a moment. Uh, I have to go piss. We're bo I know Bobby's not coming back. That's, that's oh, the dreadful part. Oh, he's fighting with his girl because he's mad about an internet comment. Like, that's so ridiculous. Like, do you get mad when, when sh with internet haters at all anymore? I, I don't. I, it just doesn't work Jeff, on do me you anymore. let internet haters bother you? Uh, no, I don't read the haters. Yeah, exactly. They're called trolls. I forward to Thanks, 1982. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I get bad emails, I forward them to Brody Stevens. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? <laughs> that is great. By the way, if you haven't seen the season finale of Brody's show last night, there is a hilarious part where he goes on a date with a beautiful Asian woman, quote unquote, and they edit it so perfect where they don't even mention anything about it being a uh, maybe a guy girl. And he's like kissing her on the show and stuff. It's fucking hilarious. So every week we have two regulars that come on, two lovely young ladies that are rising through the ranks. They do spots everywhere else as well. Every week they were both built here and uh, have been growing, doing a new 60 seconds every single week. And this week will be no different. So let's start with, you know her from the Kill Tony podcast, uh, our, our goofy little electric goofball, the very funny Sarah Weinshank, everybody. Here she is. I don't like the beach, and that's okay. I realize other people tricked me into thinking that I liked the beach because they were so passionate about wanting to go to the beach. Do you want to come to the beach? I got to the beach and I realized I don't like the beach. Have you seen the people that hang out at the beach? Not great, guys. Very whimsical. I don't like seagulls. I prefer pigeons. Seagulls seem affluent and choosy. Pigeons, I feel like they, they went through a struggle, you know? I don't like a privileged bird. I don't want to, I don't want to be around a bird that has to choose between eating a panini and a sandwich. You know what I mean? I want to be around a bird that has to struggle to get that fry, because life is hard. Yep, don't like the beach, and why? Do people shower there? Are you supposed to shower when you leave? Is that a thing? I don't like barnacles, I don't like tentacles, I don't like seaweed, lifeguards, sunscreen. I don't, I don't know. It almost seems like you're trying to not laugh by the end of it all when you're just naming things. <laughs> Barnacles, tentacles, seaweed. It's like you're... I don't like it. <clears throat> What's crazy about that, the beach thing, is that the awesome visor thing from last week slides right in there. Yeah. So it's almost yeah. like right in the same thing, which yeah. I noticed immediately. And it's like all of a sudden... And I fucking hate the beach, too. Yeah, it's not great. There was something else that I thought of about the visor thing in the week. And I also saw a lot of stuff, a lot of tweets on Twitter about it. I'm yeah. Sure, yeah. I, 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 I was tagged in a few of them, so I'm sure you got some. And it's funny that uh, people are into that. For those of you that don't know, last week she did uh, 60 seconds on how much she hates people that wear visors because it doesn't make any sense, and she laid it out pretty funny. Especially bald people. That was the best yeah. part. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's almost like they uh, – I'm still tagging uh, visors, but it's almost like they don't – they've never heard of sunglasses and they don't care about rain. 
It's like <laughs> that's so good. So that's fucking great. What? Uh, I like that. Yeah. Remember when Red Brand brought in the yamaka into the thing? Did you put that in the joke at all? I haven't yet, Patriot. Jeff, what do you hate about the beach? What do you think? Uh, what do you what do you what do you got going on there? What do you well, think? Well, I love the beach personally, but I like I love your commitment to hating it is so funny, and yep. you just keep going until it turns into uh, yeah. jokes, and that was really entertaining. Yeah, we've always noticed about her that almost no matter what she's talking about, about twenty or thirty seconds in, no matter what or if she's hit a punchline, Brian and I start laughing because we 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 see her do this, and that's exactly what I we think is funny about her is that she's so passionate about the little. Interesting things, barnacles, tentacles, and seaweed. It's like it's like what twenty seconds in. You could if you go back to right. every episode. There's a part a part we twenty seconds where we book a chuckling like little kids, and then then it's you lost and, and, you got and then you actually hit punchlines, which is. I really want to see a full set of yours. I've never seen a ten minute, fifteen minute set of yours. I I just can't even imagine how you take how do you take all these jokes where you go from beginning get angry and angry and angrier then do you just kind of reset your palette of angriness and keep on going or when or you're in it you're probably in it all the way then they probably believe you at the end of the show do you have clothes on you're just screaming and hitting people in the head I mean, <laughs> what I do you like, mean by just getting so angry at the end oh 15 minutes so. i feel like i break it into categories of things <laughs> that i'm passionate about that lead into other things that i'm passionate about right maybe i'll have to reset things you hate and things you love but no matter what that passion is pretty much your comedic yeah. voice I say after every rant, you take out a little asthma inhaler, breathe, <laughs> sit down for a second, take you a know sip of your drink, and look out the look out in the distance. It's actually, there is something there with your style that if you did something each time you change topic, it seems like it would just be applause break worthy in a bigger set. Like we're saying, in a bigger set, five, ten, whatever, longer minutes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's actually really funny. <laughs> something to break it up. That. And that's funny. Something that the fans could like, and then you could sell little fake inhalers. Like yeah. Wine shank. Or real wine. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Nitrous cartridge. Yeah. There you go. I like it. There she goes. It's Sarah Wine Shank. You, you should watch some old um, Gilbert God. I know this sounds crazy, but you should watch some Gilbert Gottfried from back in the day. And okay. see how he goes on and on and on and on. Very, uh, you know, commitment. Yeah. Good yeah. call on that. He really okay, cool. does. Yeah, I watched some, but I'll, I'll revisit. Follow her on Twitter at Princess Shank. That's three S's in that in a row. S H E N K is how that ends. Yeah. That always awesome. funny, always great, always exciting. And uh, so is your our final comedian of the night. She's By been the, a regular here. That's since it? It went so fast. By the way, that song that we brought Sarah up was called Screwing You at the Beach by the Bloodhound Gang. Just and I had no idea that you were Beach song, <laughs> beach topic. <laughs> Um, uh, Tony, this, Tony, this flew by. I know. This is our final comedian. She dropped out of college this year after having her first comedic spot here on this stage during Kill Tony. Here she is. It's Kimberly Congdon, everybody. You had a lot of kids. Yeah, just bring it up. But you ain't had mine. Um, hey. Hi. So, guys, I want to talk about some things that are bothering me lately. I've got, I don't know, things have been getting on my nerves. Like, uh, people that get in elevators and push the door close button. It doesn't fucking work. I don't get it. I've never seen someone push it and the door fucking closes. It doesn't happen. You know what button closes the door just as fast as the door close button? Every other fucking button. All of them. Same time. And like people that say, uh, I'm a tough cookie. I've never met a cookie whose ass I couldn't kick. <laughs> never. They should say like, I don't know, tough pussy because those things birth humans, <laughs> right? Uh, pageant moms, they look like they smell like sneeze. <laughs> Not into it. Not into it. Uh, and like, Honestly, the only person that likes a pageant is a child molester. I mean, they're interesting. Rapists are weird because they fuck ugly people. Kids are cute, you know? And like... You want to finish it real quick? Uh, I was, was going to say, it? rapists come out of nowhere and come out of nowhere. And then uh, talk about how, like, maybe that's how janitors are made because rapists are like, 
ooh, I want to get in there. And someone's like, no, you can't. And so they just, it's like when you're applying for keys. college. Yeah. Uh, okay. They just, you know, that was a whole bunch that of That was a good set. Yeah, Thank totally. You. What was the first one about? Uh, Elevator, the door oh, close yeah. button. It does work. Yeah, that's true. That is really true. And Controversial. I was, literally th- I was literally thinking about that this weekend. About how that doesn't work, because at the hotel that we were work. at, it really wasn't You're working. You're going to upset a lot of people with that kind of material. <laughs> well, which one? The <laughs> elevator button, the, the door close button, that's pretty, that's pretty out By there. the way, here's a tip. If you're ever staying at a hotel, go on your elevator. There's a name of the elevator. You can go online, and there's cheat codes for all the floors. Like, there's buttons you can push and hold down at the same time, and it does, like, almost anything you want. Where Especially in Vegas, it will just skip floors for you. So if you have a lot of people on your elevator, go right to your floor. It was very, very funny. Thank you. Very, very funny. You uh, want a French fry? Oh, You've been going up. You've been doing a lot of spots mm-hmm. during the week. Very good. Uh, we're running out of time, so there you go. Thanks. Kimberly Congdon. Good She's job. Kimberly Congdon on Twitter. So many first timers here. I think it was what two tonight. Yeah, That's two or so three. So exciting. Yeah. You mean first time on stage ever? Yeah. Yeah. That was great. That yeah. gives, a, it's an, a, gives a little emotion to your show. Heck yeah! Very exciting. So you guys watched. The birth of a couple comedians, or maybe just a... a Abortion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there was one, literally a miscarriage at one point. And uh, also, two shoes got autographed. History made. Bobby Lee fucking left ten minutes ago. Yeah. Hey, Tony, He's I don't still know if you pretty remember, awesome. but he left on Kill Tony 9, too. He left early to Koreatown. Yeah. Really awesome. Do you remember that? I, oh, yeah. I just love it. Anyway, thanks for reminding me about that, Patriot. Um... You're at Real Jeffrey Ross on Twitter. Uh, anything coming up that you want to promote? Live shows or anything that you got booked? Or? Follow me at RoastmasterGeneral.com. My schedule is posted. Got a lot of tour dates coming up. February, March, April. Yeah. Get ready, Toronto. Kill Tony's coming to you. We're not going to announce the date yet, but we are coming. So Patriots coming with us, and we're going to see what else we could do. Maybe the girls can come. We're going to try to figure out the budget, see what's going on. We'll figure everything out. But I'm very excited about that. And uh, thank you all so much for coming out, everybody. Yes. Congratulations, Missy Martinez, on your first spot. Shout out to Kai, one of my favorite artists in the world. Follow him. Yeah. Kai Aarons, K-I-I-A-R-E-N-S. Yeah. He is one of the, truly, I'm not just kidding, he's one of the most amazing artists anywhere. Also, he made that uh, awesome Buddy Hackett jacket. The, jacket, the Hackett jacket that you got me to see on the, Christ, got to see right, get on the Christmas episode. That's right, fucking awesome. Amazing Great artist. Tony, how about a hand for your host, Tony, everybody? Thank you. The Iron Patriot, Brian Redband. Thank Brian, you, Josh thanks Martin for having Comic. me, you guys. Thanks, right. Thank you, guys. Good night. So-